Hello Tangerines from the beautiful tropical paradise of Isla Hobash, Mexico. This a French bakery. They have a nice selection of breads and uh, sweet breads and cinnamon rolls and things like that. I got this muffin, that this banana muffin with Nutella on the inside. Since this is a French bakery, there's not a whole lot I can have with my gluten allergy, but I ended up getting a vegetarian omelet for 90 pesos. It's actually very good. I also got a espresso sencillo single espresso for 35 pesos. And believe it or not, this is one of the more affordable places that we've found in town. Very good. You said just this, this morning that basically you wanted to try everything in the bakery case. <laughs> yeah, that banana muffin with Nutella is so good and only 25 pesos. And they're very generous with their salmon on the bagel, also very good. I like this piece. I went back for more. I got this. It's like a croissant with ham and cheese on the inside, 35 pesos, and then I got another one of those muffins for 25. Uh, Jordan, we are at a French restaurant right now, so I think you mean croissant. Croissant. <laughs> All of you who speak French, let her, let her know if she's pronouncing it right. Croissant. Ha, ha. I am stuffed after that. Well, we also met the owner. He's really nice. He's actually from France, and He's the one who runs this bakery. He said he's been living here for 10 years. Yeah, here on the island. Yeah. Which I think is pretty impressive. To be putting up with all these bugs and the heat and humidity and he just was happy as a clam. <laughs> <laughs> happy guy. Well, we had every intention of going to Punta Mosquitos, which is where there's like a nature reserve where you can see flamingos uh -huh. and stuff. But in terms of distance, we drove less than half of the distance before the road ended to where yeah. we would have to walk the rest of the uh -huh. way. I can only imagine it was like a 40 minute walk. We don't At know. At least. We don't know because the cell towers don't reach this far. <laughs> <laughs> so we're turning around now, but we'll see what we see. The great thing is we have four hours to do whatever the heck we want. Tons of restaurants and beach clubs on this road, so it didn't take us too long to find one with lots of shade and an ocean view. Uh, the mobile post postery maker, the mobile dessert maker, uh, <laughs> stopped by. He's like, would you like any postery? I said, named off a bunch of that he has, like a rose con leche, which I really like. And then he mentioned flan con baileys. So I'm like, yes, yes, that. Yeah, I stopped him mid-sentence. Like, wait, what did you just say? 50 pesos for this delight? Well, I call it a delight because I know here in Mexico I like flan. Oh, that is good. That was really good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some of the best Let food in Mexico comes from street vendors or like mobile <laughs> vendors like this guy. Mm -hmm. Can you show his cart that he brought? Yes, hold on. The like best flan I've ever had. If you're coming to Holbox, seek this guy out and get this flan. This is the first time we've seen him. It's not something you can really seek out. You, He finds you. Yeah. You don't find him. You don't find this type of magic. This type of ma magic finds you. <laughs> <laughs> My guacamole for 100 pesos. I think it was 100 pesos. Yep. Yeah, 100 pesos just came out and it has a rose on it. This is super beautiful. Maracuya. 
aka passion fruit and I take a sip and it's like so much better than the first margarita because I think passion fruit just makes everything taste better. It's not like the first margarita was bad but no it wasn't. Passion fruit is amazing I love it. The reason we stopped at this restaurant and not one of the many many others on this road is because it was packed and packed with Mexicans. That's how you know a place is good. <laughs> we are just leaving Club de Playa Monteraya. Too fun to say. We're just leaving this place now and this was just a random place that we popped into and we didn't look up the reviews online like we normally do but uh -huh. I'm so happy we stopped in here. My fish was awesome, really, really good. And it was 200 pesos, which I feel like is really reasonably priced for the good sized fish that you got. And on the beach. I would come back here for sure. Show off with our fancy golf carts. <laughs> Us and our piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing they alerted us to the speed bump. Wow, that is rich. That is hilarious. They said that there's a tope. What is this road if not for a million topes? <laughs> we have made our way all the way over to the other side of the island and it maybe took us like less than 10 minutes. <laughs> and we found our way to like, I think the OG Olbosch sign. This is kind of cool. It's a head of whale shark. Then you have Olbosch, whale shark tail. Do you want a photo? I thought it was kind of funny that in their like a, in their thing there, like in their like little yard where you go to pick up the golf cart, pretty much every car was under maintenance. I can't imagine why. Why <laughs> is that with these amazing roads that they have? <laughs> and then the extensive uh, driving tests that they give you. <laughs> Made a quick pit stop at our hotel. I need some friends. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, yeah. I know, what is it? What is that? <laughs> We're back once again at Punta Cocos to see another sunset. And this time we're the first ones out here and we're early so we don't miss it. We want to see the sun going down like all the way. <laughs> it's a little bit clearer tonight so we're going to have a different kind of sunset. bits of the sunset behind us. Oh my gosh, amazing. Even Another better than the last time. Yeah, I think. incredible, especially with the clouds and all the colors. One of the best sunsets I've ever seen. Definitely come to Punta Cocos if you want to see one. Like we said in our what not to do video, you can see it from other places along the main beach of Isla Holbosch, but here you get more of a panoramic view and I definitely think it's worth it to take a taxi out here, rent a golf cart or take a bike. Yeah, let her rip, Jordan. <laughs> okay, we've got a deadline. We got to make it back. Whoa. <laughs> so we pulled in and they're like, did everything go all right? Nothing bad happened? And we're like, nope, all good. And then gave me a, my ID back and then we were off. So I, there <laughs> wasn't much looking the cart over. They basically degaff, let's say, let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> and we we almost didn't make it back. We would have had to pass through this big puddle. Do you see this lake? Do you see this lake right here? We actually had to go out of our way by 
three or four different blocks trying different corners of the street that this is on. So thankfully we made it back. All is well that ends well and this was a really fun day. So that was Palmeras golf cart rental and I think they're a little bit cheaper than the other places but the quality of what you get isn't quite as good either based on what I've seen. So it's just one of those things you get what you pay for. If you want a better cart just pay a little bit more money at one of the other places. If you want the lowest price go with this one. <laughs> Buenos dias amigos. So it is a new day now. It is our last full day and we're here basically in the middle of the jungle on the island, the very last point where the road drops off. We had a cab take us from about the middle of town to here for 70 pesitos. <laughs> and we're lathering up in bug spray and bug repellent and sunscreen because the place that we're going, it's called Punta Mosquito. So if that tells you anything, we need to prepare ourselves. So we first tried going on the beach and it looked like you don't really go that way. So then we backtracked a little bit to this path here and it's flooded. So yeah, as far as we can see through here, the path is totally flooded. Now we're gonna try the beach again. You know, it, it's so humid here that our really good expensive camera has a bunch of, what do you call that? Well, so every time we take this camera out after being in our, our hotel room, it has to acclimatize to the new hotter more humid temperature it and fogs up right away condensation builds up on the lens this time it's now inside the lens so and this is why we turned back before thinking this must not be the right way here hand me the camera please We easily found another path after that, so I think this is just gonna be uh, playing chicken with the flooding. Now that we've reached another impassable puddle, and I don't even know if you'd call this a puddle, this is like a full on lake or river running through, then there's another one after that. So even if we took our shoes off, I think we would just be hitting this kind of thing the whole way, and the humidity has ruined our camera. So I guess we're gonna turn around and not see the flamingos. I'm really sad. <laughs> This is our second attempt too. Yeah guys, we weren't kidding about the humidity here. We live in a very humid place, but one week here in uh, Holbosch has uh, ruined our $1,500 camera, or at least made it so we're probably gonna have to send it in to get repaired. It is frustrating. We did a quick Google search to see if there's anything you can do, and what came up was actually the same thing that if your phone takes a swim, you put it in a bag or bowl of rice. So we got some rice and we have the camera soaking here, so. I'm hoping that takes care of all the moisture inside of it. Since we had approximately nine layers of bug spray and three layers of sunscreen and our own concoction with pennyroyal to ward off the noceums, we had to come back to the room and take some showers. And boy, do I feel better. So, so much better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so much better, in fact, that I'm ready to go back out into the world again and face those mosquitoes and face the humidity and face the heat and hopefully not get sunburnt. <laughs> Any worse than we already Any are. Any worse than we already are. It's obligatory. You have to come to Isla Holbosch and stand in the L of the Holbosch side. Oh, I was, I was gonna say, I wonder if anyone noticed that they're missing the L. Of course. You're the L. <laughs> You're an L. Hello. <laughs> So we're back at Club de Playa Mantaraya because their drinks yesterday were bomb and we had to get some more. Yeah, you know, we do like trying out new places and kind of exploring, but it's our last day. We wanted a surefire good thing. We knew this was a good margarita yesterday. We, it is a good margarita again today. <laughs> so we again have this beautiful view of the Caribbean out here and the totally gorgeous waters. We're in the shade of a palapa, so we're not gonna get sunburned. And thankfully we have a nice breeze, which yes. most of the time we've been here it's been totally calm so the breeze yeah. is really great you have no idea what a difference it makes to just have a light breeze it's like <laughs> night and day uh -huh. <laughs> if you're interested in mexico you might want to see more videos about it and we make a whole lot all over the country not just this re region you might consider subscribing to our channel just click that subscribe button down below listos? okay listos, listos. gracias we're losing
Okay, we're gaining on him. <laughs> we're gaining. <laughs> no match for a golf cart. So if there's one cuisine Obosh is known for, it's lobster pizza. This is our last day here, so I'm going to get a lobster pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and if there's another thing Obosh is known for, it's being a hot spot for tourism. And something that comes with that is getting gringo priced all over the place. I'm very glad we speak Spanish. And, well, we're, we're learning to speak Spanish. We're not fluent yet, but we're very close. We can have conversations with just about anyone. Mm -hmm. And I think in this case, on this island, it's helped us to not get gringo priced you in a lot of circumstances. You wouldn't believe how many vendors we've uh, talked to in this area, in the Riviera Maya, that we start talking to them in Spanish and they tell us, oh, I'm going to give you a better price because you speak Spanish. No, they literally say, oh, hablan español, oh, mejor precio. And then we and laugh, but then they're, no, they're like, no, en serio. Like, no, I'm serious. <laughs> seriously, we'll give you a better price. <laughs> so if you're thinking about coming to Mexico, if you're thinking about coming here even, Isla Holbosch, you don't need to know Spanish. Many, many people speak English here. But if you want to pay less than the very high prices that exist, and if you want to respect the culture, I think learning Spanish is a good idea. And we've been learning Spanish for a while now. The program we recommend, after trying a lot of them, mm -hmm. is called Rocket Languages. We've mentioned this in a lot of videos before because it's a good program, it's very thorough, and it's a good value for the money. Oh, and we forgot to mention Rocket Languages is running a sale right now, which means it's an even better price than it normally is, but it is only for the first thousand courses. So jump on it if you're interested. So if you're thinking about it and you want to try it out, you can head to tangerinespanish.com. We set up a link that goes right there. We're an affiliate of this company because we like it so much and we really believe in the product. So if you're interested, tangerinespanish.com. Hello, amigos, ¿cómo estás? Hola. ¿Cómo va el día, señor? Todo bien. Qué bueno, me da mucho gusto. Qué bueno que le están pasando bien, amigos. We had to come back to Obash Foodie Market to get some blackaritas because they're delicious. Uh, some of the best and some of the cheapest drinks we found on the island. And then you got some tacos you got last time. I have a lobster pizza coming, yum. Yeah. I'm so excited to see what this lobster pizza looks like. Oh, it's coming right now. Gracias. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. It's uh, crawling on your pizza there. You better get it before he gets it. <laughs> <laughs> so Jordan, you devoured that lobster pizza. What do you think? I think the lobster pizza was quite good today. <laughs> Would you order it again? <laughs> Absolutely. He says, absolutely, he would order this again. And that's all from us today, folks. <laughs> we wanted to give you guys a quick recap on what we thought of Holbosch, what we thought of our week here. After all is said and done, I think two of the biggest factors for us were weather and cost. The weather, as we've previously mentioned in this video, kind of sucked. I think mm -hmm. we got unlucky in the fact that there was hardly any breeze or wind the mm -hmm. whole time. Even when you're right next to the water, there <laughs> yeah. was no breeze. Today is the first day, our last day here, that we've had any kind of breeze and it makes a world of difference. So I'd like to come back at a nicer time of year just to be able to feel what it's like to be outside and not be sticky and uncomfortable and being attacked <laughs> by mosquitoes. The other thing I mentioned was cost. This is the most expensive place that we have been in Mexico and we've been all over the country, including high priced areas, like high, high priced places like Tulum. Believe it or not, we <laughs> spent more in this week here on Isla Hobos and we spend a, a week in Las Vegas. Let that sink in. Staying on the strip. <laughs> Las Vegas. Las Vegas, like, <laughs> how, how is that possible? It's just crazy. With that said, I know this is probably going to be an unpopular opinion, but there are at least five places in Quintana Roo, the state that we're in in Mexico, mm -hmm. that I would go to before coming back here. If you have planned to come here because you want to see the bioluminescence or the whale sharks or feel this laid back island vibe. Or, or the beautiful island. It's absolutely the, gorgeous. The There's no denying that. Yes. Still come. Just know that you're going to have to bring 
a lot of cash. Just bring <laughs> those buckets of money with. Yeah, anticipate that your bank account is going to be a little bit sad by the time you leave. And plant a couple money trees so you have <laughs> so you have something to come back to. That's just the reality of it here, but I would mm. I would come back here. I just I, there's other places that I would go before, like Tulum, because even Tulum is cheaper. Uh, even Playa del Carmen, which I consider scam city, I would go there kind of before yeah, uh, I go back here. I feel like Holbosch makes Playa del Carmen and Puerto Vallarta look cheap. We, and we, we, <laughs> those are places that we consider expensive for Mexico standards. Yeah, so th these are our thoughts. Uh, I'm not trying to discourage anyone from coming here but just we always want to give you guys the reality of it instead of painting some rosy picture at least the then, reality through our eyes yes exactly because everyone's reality is going to be different but before you guys go we want to tell you about some other travel plans that we have coming up that we're very very excited about mm -hmm. we will be spending another week in Tulum we will be spending a week at an all-inclusive in Playa del Carmen and then we're gonna be spending a week in Merida and then traveling more around the country as well. Yes, finally, we will be leaving Puerto Morelos. Our time there has been amazing. The over a year and a half that we've been living in that small beach town, but it's time to move on. <laughs> so we do hope you'll subscribe to see those upcoming videos. But in the meantime, on the end screen here in just a moment, we're going to link our last video that we made in Tulum, which was easily one of the most one of our favorite experiences that mm -hmm. we've had in Mexico. In the, how long have we been here? Two and a half years? Uh, going on three. three. In January, in it'll be three years. We've been traveling around and making videos. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And one more thing before you go. <laughs> Gong that bell so you get notified whenever we release a new video. And <laughs> we'll see you soon.